I hated Chuan. Yes, that is in the past tense. Because I am liking the current character development that he is getting. Looking back to how he used to be a selfish and self-centered dominant Omega, that was basically what defined him and he thought that that was the only thing that is important about him and that made him really twisted and it's so nice to see in this chapter that he's not fully recovered but you are seeing him try to be a nicer person and I just hope that his and Kyung Soo's story will be smooth sailing and because I really learned to like this really unique couple but then again I know that no relationship is ever smooth sailing so expect a little bit of a bump in the road which we should be expecting in this chapter anyway before we get started I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more yaoi content and would like to support this channel please don't forget to smash that like button also if you haven't done so please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell Feel free to message me in my YouTube or Instagram at Sealed Fujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Sealed Fujoshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution you have been warned now without further ado let's jump into chapter 95 of love is an illusion man looking at how kyung so uh is in this chapter he's giving me this dojin vibes on the previous chapter where he's really bulking up like all of the semis in this series is bulking up it's not only dojun it's also dojin and then now it's kyungsa and we all know that chuan will really enjoy it really soon and then there's <laughs> there's something that triggered me in this chapter which is the scene where Chuan is starting to throw some of the things that used to belong to Dojun and I absolutely could understand Kyungso's point of view where he's saying like isn't that super expensive and then Chuan is like no it doesn't matter and then my broke ass broke in a million ways <laughs> because i mean isn't it bothering that he's just throwing away all of these expensive items at least he can sell it or something or you know donate it recycle it anything but don't just throw it away in the garbage so <laughs> I mean, it's a nice comedic routine to see them um, bicker about these things, but man, that was such a trigger for me. <laughs> and then another good in insight in this series is um, Chuan's manager slash only friend. Um, we are seen, we we are shown how he looked when he started working for Chuan and it's kind of sad to see that working for Chuan has stressed him out so much and he wants to be a good friend and continue to support Chuan and help him through all of the situations that Chuan is going through but man look at what Chuan did to Mr. Son like 
my gosh like he's so stressed he doesn't want to fight with juan so what he did is he basically stressed eat his emotions away and that for me is so sad because he looks like a very good looking guy if you on the on the preview of how he used to look like before working with you he's a pretty decent looking guy and it, i mean he's cute now he's like cuddly in his own way but man i'm pretty sure he would have gotten a couple of good matches on his previous posture anyway now that I'm done with my random babblings, um, we're gonna focus on this story now. And um, I really like the progression of Kyungso and Chuan. They have the shortest, um, um, sh they have the shortest story in the three couples in the Love Is an Illusion series, but they I feel like they have a better progression as a couple versus Dojin and Young and uh, Hisa. <laughs> I mean, from Kyungso stating that even alphas feel intimidated by Chuan to realizing that even though Chuan is really intimidating he is physically weaker than a girl <laughs> and it probably comes to a surprise and we probably knew this also but we just didn't pay attention to it but the thing is Chuan heavily relies on the power of his pheromones in order to intimidate other people and that is basically all he is he just uses his pheromones to intimidate but it's also funny in its own right that as of beta Kyung So is immune to the thing that makes Chuan intimidating which is his pheromones which you know Chuan being stubborn by nature and mastering how he uses his pheromones it's funny to see that Kyung So is literally the only person who can hope to stand against Chuan and since Kyung So is someone who won't take shit from other people and since he's also immune to the pheromones this is serving him so well and it reinforces the notion that despite the difference in their social status and the difference in their status also as a dominant and dominant omega and an he Kyung So, even though he's a very good looking dude, he is considered an average um, uh average beta. Chuan really needs a guy like Kyung So. And though I understand that people don't change quickly, and obviously you can see uh Chuan's um old personality still showing up here and there and him being so defensive i am really happy that chuan's new relationship is a very healthy relationship with kyung so and it looks like it's a lasting relationship um it just shows that also kyung so is really a man of value and logic um, even though he knows that Kyung So is a uh, dominant Omega and that he comes from a rich family and he's a really high uh, status elite, you know, he does not sway away from that. Like, he knows his values and he knows what's the correct and wrong logic. So, he's literally not as toxic as other semis in yaoi 
Chuan, on the other hand, though, he is probably one of the most toxic people you have ever read. I understand that he's trying his best to change, and it's difficult to change bad habits. And honestly, it's inhuman to change rather quickly because it's obvious that this two has only been dating for a couple of months or probably even weeks we don't know yet because we're not given a timetable on where they are in this relationship but man knowing that chuan has met his match a guy that is his type and is not intimidated by his whole being I would bet you the next chapter of this series, Chuan is probably going to be so freaking turned on by being overpowered by Kyung So because this is one of the things that he really wanted from Dojun. Dojun is so, you know, poised and very, um, he has so many restraints with Chuan and he he doesn't go wild you know like if even if chuan throws his pheromone bomb on dojun dojun is not gonna do anything about it he dojun will never force anything on chuan he like like he said on the previous chapters in his conversation with Hisu, you know, if Cho Chuan didn't ask for a divorce, Dojun would have never done the divorce. And that just shows that even though Dojun could overpower Chuan, he never did. And oddly enough, I think this is one of the things that Chuan really wanted from Dojun and now he's gonna get it from Kyung So because he's not gonna be affected by his pheromones. They are basically standing on the same ground. And man, I am really excited with the next chapter. And can I just say um, that when I saw that um, Chu Wan told Kyung So to quit his job, I really think since he's a little bit of a sundere, this is his way of wanting Kyung So with him 24-7. Um, Chu Wan wants Kyung So to be his assistant so that they can spend more time together and and he just doesn't know how to say to Kyung So that hey I want to spend more time with you and I think in his own sundry way this is his way of initiating um want wanting to spend more time with Kyung So but again he doesn't know how to ask and how to talk to him in a healthy way because he doesn't know how to rely on others and humbly accept help but damn that this cliffhanger i really really hate this cliffhanger because man you can almost imagine what's gonna happen next and it's gonna be a very hot chapter next but man it's a cliffhanger so you can't do anything about it but man we all know that when someone said handle your man kyung so is truly handling him well time to tame lil chuan because in the next chapter someone is about to get a good spanking anyway i hope you enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys love that i'm interested in feel free to leave a message and converse with me i'd love to hear back from you and please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through my website www 
sealedfujoshi.xyz. And don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.